Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions and today I want to talk to you about tagging documents. Now this has been possible for some time but yet in the latest announcements from Apple they have brought it out as a new thing that's going to be available in OS X Mavericks. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can use tagging already in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So let's get started. We've got some files here. I'm just going to take a few of these. We've got a markdown one, a uh, PDF document and a page document and I could have uh, that in there as well, an encrypted file, all sorts of different files altogether. And what I can do is I can actually put a tag on all of these files at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I've got a few files there selected. I'm going to drag these five files onto tag it and it pops this thing down here. Look, when you're using tags, you want to use tags that are general. You don't want to use tags which are going to be file types because you can find by file type already. So have a tag which is based on things like a name of a project. So for instance, this one here is a project involving a whole lot of different things. And so I want it to be called Spondicious. So this is the name of my project. So the thing to do is to put tags on there that are going to be helpful when you're looking for stuff later. And these tags, well, you can put more than one tag onto a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press enter now and those files are going to be tagged. How do I know the tags? Well, let's use tag it to find them. So let's click on this here. So this is the tag. I press that and those files have just come up. So those uh, five files that I've just tagged and there's some files there that are already tagged Spondicious. Now what I can do is I can tell it to search for tags. Let's say I want tags that are that one and also scriptogram. So I've got a space in between those two there. So now it's going to find the files that are tagged with those both tags. So now we've just got those five files that are just tagged and put the two tags on it. Another thing that you can do is you can use in this find a search window here, the uh, spotlight search here, but you can tell it to do various searches. So maybe I want it to go for anything that's, uh, I can put an or in there. So before I put the or in there, it was looking for things where it was tagged both with Spondicious and Scriptogram. But now what it's doing is finding things that have got both tags in there. So there's more files in there that it's found. Now, I think the best thing to do when you're tagging files is to tag them when you're saving them. So let's go to this uh, textastic document over here and I'm going to press command and save. So as you can see, I've got this extra bit around here and this is my default folder thing. And I'm going to tell it to tag it with Spondicious. And as you see, I've just put in a couple of letters and it's filled the rest out for me. So you don't have to do a whole lot of typing to be able to put these tags in there. One thing to note with this is that tags is not the same as Spotlight Comments. So this actual file is something to do with audio. So I'm not going to tag it with audio, but I'm going to put a Spotlight Comment in there audio. And also what I'll do is I'll give it a label and put it in red. So there you go. Tagging is not labels either. So I'm going to be interesting to see how this works out in OS 10 Mavericks if they're doing a mix and match with these things or scrunching it all together so that tags, labels and comments are all going to be sort of uh, mixed together. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what comes up with OS 10 Mavericks when it becomes available in autumn. We can see that in our search here, this uh, settings for microphone giant squid, which is the one I just did. So as you can see, I've got this search going looking for tags where we've got Spondicious or the tag Scriptogram. And it's found the one that I've just uh, put the tag onto it for the tag of Spondicious. Okay, so now we've got just the files which are tagged with Spondicious. So there you go, that's a good way of setting up a project where you've got lots of different files that you want to be able to find really easy later. So when you do a save, just save and put the tag, whatever you're going to call your uh, project. Another way of doing some searches is to use uh, an application called Who to Spot or How to Spot. Not quite sure how you pronounce that. And as you can see, we can look for keywords or tags in this one here. And now that's found all those files in there that have got the tag Spondicious on there. Okay, so this one's looking for all of the following are true. So now I've got to do it. Any of the following is true. And as you can see, it changed the uh, thing on here. So I've got all the files there. So there you go. There's a few ways that you can use tags in your files on Mac OS X Mountain Lion. And let's have a look and see what's coming up with the Mac OS X Mavericks when it comes available in autumn. This is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.